The Little Mermaid. In the ocean, there was a big world in the far depth that nobody knew about. Giant whales, happiest dolphins, animals of all colors of the rainbow. Further deep, where not even the slightest light could reach, in the deep sea kingdom, the sea people lived in peace with all the other deep sea creatures. The king of the seas lived in the deep sea castle with his mother and six daughters and ruled the seas. The king of the seas loved his daughters very much. His biggest fear was that one day they would be harmed by the humans living above the sea. That's why it was forbidden for the daughters to swim above the sea before they were allowed. The humans living above the sea on the land are evil. Why are the humans evil, Daddy? Asked the little mermaid. Because humans pollute the seas and kill all the life that's in it. The little mermaid was very curious about the life on land, especially the humans. The stories told about them by her sisters were not enough. Her grandmother warned her about the humans all the time. But she could only go out of the sea gate when she earned her crown and grew as old as her sisters. The little mermaid gazed after her sisters. As they swam away, she made a plan to go out of the deep sea gate. She took her friend the dolphin with her and went to see Himrim the whale, because Himrim could go out of the deep sea gate whenever he pleased. She told about her plan to Himrim. Himrim did not agree with her at first because he too was very afraid of the king. But then he really felt sorry for her and decided to help. The big blue whale and the dolphin made it to the gate of the kingdom. Seeing Himrim, the guards immediately opened the gates the giant whale and his friends, Dolphin, went through the gates easily. After they were out of sight, Himram the whale opened his giant mouth and released the little mermaid. The little mermaid swam above the sea with the help of Himram. She felt the breeze and saw the blue skies for the first time in her life. Marvellous! Right at that moment, she heard some music. When trying to find out where it was coming from, she noticed a ship a little further out from her. It was her first time seeing a ship. This is a ship, right? Let's go! Her friend the dolphin warned her not to go, but she was already out of sight. She moved as fast as she could towards the ship. The ship belonged to the king. The king was having a birthday party for his son. He wanted his son to get married as soon as possible. That's why all the candidate princesses were invited to the party. He's a prince. But he's a human, warned the dolphin. with her beautiful voice accompanied the melody Prince was playing with his flute. The Prince heard her lovely voice and started to look around. Be careful, little mermaid, they will see you, warned the dolphin. The little mermaid jumped back into the water and disappeared. At that moment, Back in the deep sea kingdom, the witch of the seas was watching all that was happening from her crystal ball. That day has finally come! The daughter of the king of the seas and a human! Let the storms roar, the wind blow and the thunder strike all over! 
With the witch's curse, giant waves appeared from nowhere, and not able to fight them back, the princess ship started to drift towards the rocks. The little mermaid was very worried when she saw the drifting ship in the storm. The ship is going to fall apart and sink! We have to help them! mermaid dove in the water right after the ship. Swimming through the shipwreck, she first found the flute the prince was playing. She then spotted the prince, unconsciously going slowly into the deep waters. She immediately pulled him out of the water and carried him to shore. Wake up! Please wake up! The prince slowly regained his consciousness and opened his eyes. You're alive, said the little mermaid with joy. Hearing dogs barking from a distance, she suddenly realised where she was and jumped back into the water, leaving the prince behind. One of the prince's men and the prince's candidates came next to him. A girl saved me from drowning. Her voice feels familiar. I heard it before. It was the most beautiful voice. The little mermaid swam back to the deep sea kingdom. The prince's flute was still in her hand. She could not stop thinking about him. Right at that moment, the king of the seas came in and saw the flute in the little mermaid's hand. He immediately realized that it was human made. We have rules and I expect everyone to obey them, especially my children. Is it true that you have saved a human from drowning? I had to. If I didn't, he was going to die, answered back the Little Mermaid. Enough. Humans bring evil. The relations between the sea world and the human world is strictly forbidden. With a big rage of anger, the King of the Seas stormed out the door. But the Little Mermaid still had no intentions to give up. She went next to Naga, the Witch of the Seas, and asked for help. Naga agreed to help, but in return, she wanted something back. Something very valuable. I will prepare a mixture that will turn you into a human. You'll be able to walk and dance on your two feet. And in return, I will have your beautiful voice. My voice? But without my voice? Having no other choice, the Little Mermaid agreed to the witch's terms. Because she really was ready to do anything to see the prince again. Do not forget, at the end of the third day with the fourth sunrise, the prince must fall in love with you. Otherwise, you will return to being a mermaid. And forget the prince forever. <laughs> With that last warning, the little mermaid drank the potion. She started to swim to the surface, but as she swam, her tail started to fade and was replaced with two legs. With the help of the dolphin, the little mermaid made it to shore. Looking from his castle to the shipwreck, the prince noticed the red-headed beauty and ran right next to her. You, have we met before? Yes, yes we have. The little mermaid could not talk, but she handed the flute to the prince. The prince played the tune again he had played on the ship once again. She nodded her head to tell him that she recognizes the tune from before. I saw you when I was playing this tune on the deck. I heard your voice, and then, then you saved me from drowning. I've been looking for you. The prince was sure that it was the little mermaid who saved him. But the girl he remembered was a mermaid and had a beautiful voice. She tried to talk, but she did not have a voice. I thought you were a mermaid, 
Suddenly, the prince started to think that this girl is actually not the one who had saved him, but he still felt sorry for her and decided to help. The prince took the little mermaid to his castle. The king ordered for the wedding preparations to start. He was going to wed the prince to one of the candidates on the ship. While the preparations were on the go, the little mermaid could only watch but not do anything. There was no way she could convince the prince without her voice. She remembered the witch's words. Do not forget, at the end of the third day with the fourth sunrise, the prince must fall in love with you. Otherwise, you will return to be a mermaid and forget the prince forever. The first two days went by fast and finally it was the third day. On this last day, the king and the queen were going to wed their son, the prince, with the princess of the neighbouring kingdom. Poor little mermaid. She could not explain to the prince that indeed she was the mermaid he was looking for. And the prince started to believe that all he saw was nothing but a dream. Her only hope was her great love for him. On the fourth day, the sun was about to rise. The little mermaid was crying with sad tears. But suddenly, something unexpected happened. First, her sisters came ashore, and then her grandma followed. They were there to help her. My dear grandchild, we are here to undo the witch Naga's curse. The little mermaid was very happy, but she did not understand how they could help her. And lastly, her father, the king of the Sikhs, came out of the water. His heart could not bear the sadness of his daughter. He also realized that nothing could stand before true love. Oh, my dear daughter, all I want in this world is your happiness. Go to him. The king of the seas directed his wand to the seashell in grandmother's hands, in which the little mermaid's voice was kept hidden, and her voice came out of the shell. And the little mermaid's voice came out of the shell. My voice! Thank you, grandmother. Thank you, daddy. I love you all so very much. With Himram the whale's help, they swam to the princess ship as fast as they could. As the prince and the princess were approaching the altar to say their vows, the prince suddenly stopped. He could hear the little mermaid's beautiful voice. When he saw the little mermaid coming towards him on a whale, without any hesitation, he jumped in the sea. I knew it was you. With her family and friends' help, the little mermaid finally was reunited with her voice and the prince. But she was no longer a mermaid. She was going to continue her life as a human. The little mermaid and the prince lived happily ever after, spreading love, peace, friendship on both land and at sea.